Hi, I'm Jesse from Practically Functional, and today I am going to show you how to take your brand new Cricut Maker machine, get it all set up, plugged into power, plugged into your computer, and go all the way through the steps of making your very first project. So this is really simple. All you need in order to set your brand new Cricut Maker machine up is everything that came in the box and a computer and a power source, something to plug it into. Um, I did a video on uh, unboxing a Cricut and showing you everything that came in the box. So the link to that is down in the description. Um, you can find that if you want to watch that. It's got a little description about everything that comes um, with your Cricut Maker machine, but it has everything you need to get started. Um, so all you need is your machine, your computer, and uh, what you do is you go to cricut.com slash setup, and it will literally walk you through everything you need to do from uh, plugging in your machine to the computer to uh, getting Design Space set up, which is their um, web app software. So um, I'm going to set this brand new machine up for the very first time and walk you guys through it. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is go to cricket, cricket.com slash setup and I'm going to show you my uh, computer screen here so that you can see exactly what I'm doing as I walk through this setup. So you come to this nice little landing page. Welcome to the Cricut family. Let's get set up. Click get started. So the very first thing it tells you to do is how to connect your machine. You're going to plug it in to your computer then you're going to plug it in to power and then you're going to press the power button on the machine and one thing it says here is ensure there are 10 inches in front of and behind the machine and that's because so let's open this up here and i'll show you that's because when you have a mat here uh, these rollers roll it in and out and then also it comes out the back of the machine so you don't want to put it right up against a wall or uh, when you're cutting down near the bottom of the mat and it's rolled it all the way in, it won't be able to come out the back side. So um, following these directions here, we are gonna take uh, the cable that came in the box. You plug this square end into your machine and you plug the USB end into your computer. Um, so I'm going to flip this around real quick and show you exactly what we're doing. So the square end goes right here in this part and there's a little, uh, there's clearly an up and a down, you'll, you'll see when you look at the computer. And then take the other end, plug it into your computer. And after you have that done, it says plug the power cable into the back of the machine and into a power outlet. So again, this is the power cable that came with your brand new Cricut. Let's see, get it opened up here, unvelcroed, stretched out. So here's the little power plug part. It goes right next to this USB. Boop. And then you take the uh, power part and I've got, let's see, I've got an outlet right over here. Plug it in, get that out of the way again, and you're good to go. So now we'll hide all of this stuff behind the machine here and turn this back around so you can see what we're doing. Okay. And then, like it said, make sure you have 10 inches in front and 10 inches behind. Since we're, you know, on top of my craft desk in the middle of 
the room, clearly we're not going to have any issues. Um, the machine comes pre-installed with the fine cut blade, as I noted in the earlier video. And I already put the extra pen and the rotary blade um, in this little storage compartment. Those are the other two pieces that come with the machine. Okay, so now it says press the power button on the machine. There it goes, starting up. Okay, so once you finish that, click continue. It's going to update to the latest firmware. Um, so this will happen every time you open Design Space, which is what this uh, software is. It's going to make sure that the excuse me that the firmware in your machine has everything uh, updated, so that you're not so you get all the newest features every time they're released. So um, I already have an Explorer Air, um, which is connected via Bluetooth, which is eventually how I will connect this machine. But I'm going to walk you how to, uh, through how to do this from the very beginning. So here we go. We're starting with the maker connected via USB. You select that and it says, uh oh, you need firmware updates. So click the button, download the firmware, reboot the machine, give it a minute or two. You can see the power buttons turned red while it's thinking. Um, so give it just a couple minutes and then we'll get started for real. Oh, there it goes. Turn back on, ready to go. Okay, successfully updated on initial mat load. The mat will only load to the top of your material. It will do a longer load before permitting the first score, cut, or pen stroke. So this is just a note for anybody who hasn't used a Cricut machine. When you load the mat, it looks like it only goes in a little ways not far enough for the blade to actually cut anything. But don't worry, the machine's very smart. It will pull it in further and cut uh, everything where it's supposed to be. So don't worry if it looks like it just sort of pulled just the first edge in. Um, with your brand new Cricut machine, you get some free gifts. Um, so, you know, accept gifts. Ah, yes, and the other thing that uh, comes with a brand new Cricut machine is Cricut Access, which is their library of um, ready to use images, fonts, projects, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's, it's really cool. They have great fonts, they have great little images that you can cut out and make your own projects, and there's tons of projects that are just ready to go. All you have to do is, you know, click the make it button. So this thing is just uh, notifying you that this little A is, uh, you'll see that next to anything that's Cricut Access. So you get a two week free trial, um, which is pretty cool. You can play around with it and see if you like it. And then it's a uh, monthly or yearly subscription after that. So click continue, carry on. Okay, here we go. This is the first project and the materials that came with it. Um, so we're going to walk through that. We're going to get it all set up. Woo okay, so it has already logged me in to Cricut Design Space because I already have a Cricut and I've been using it. Um, if this is your first time getting a Cricut, there will be a step somewhere in there um, where it will ask you to make a Cricut ID, which is just, you know, enter your email enter a password and it creates an account for you so that you can store all of this cool stuff. So once you're logged in to Cricut Design Space, um, this is what it looks like. It has all these projects in the background and this little setup is gonna walk you through um, how to make this project. So click on it and it opens it up. This is uh, Project Details. So you can click make it in order to just get started. 
Um, and I'm actually going to close this overlay for a second here. Oops. Nope. I don't want to exit this. Never mind. Um, so normally this is a little grayed out right now because this is the intro, but there's a bunch of pictures here to show you what the project looks like when it's finished. There's a description. It tells you the finished size. There's a list of materials. If it's a Cricut Access um, project, it tells you what the cost is. Or if it's Cricut Access, you get it for free with your Access subscription. Um, so your options from this screen are uh, you can click make it, which is just you're just going to make it exactly how it is and it, everything's going to come out exactly like it is. Or if um, you wanted to customize it a little bit, maybe you wanted to change the word smile to congratulations or something. Um, not in this intro tutorial, but normally you could click customize right here and then you'd have the ability to change that, change the size. Maybe you wanted it to be a bigger card versus a smaller one. Anyways, we're going to get started. We're going to click make it. And so all it does is it loads everything up and these are called mats. Um, your project gets automatically sorted by color into individual mats. So basically that means by layer. Um, so this very first mat is uh, white and it's telling you that this is the white um, paper that we're gonna use for this project. And it says it has only one mat, so all we're gonna do is click continue. Okay, um, it will normally connect to your machine, but if you don't, um, you'll have to, you know, choose your machine up here if you have more than one. So what we're going to do is set our material. Um, this project is made with medium cardstock and that's what the, uh, in your little free materials, that's what came with, um, your maker. So select that. Then it's going to tell you to load the pen. So we're, we are going to actually use this pen for this project. So here we go. Uh, load pen, open clamp A. All right, here we go. Um, hold clamp up while pushing pen down until arrow on pen disappears. So remember, um, this little arrow goes at the front of the pen. Uh, yeah, at the front. And what you want to do is sort of hold this so it has a up and down movement, which is how it draws and then lifts up and moves so it doesn't draw. So you want to hold it up while you're doing this, put your pen in and then push blah, until the little arrow disappears and then close it back up. Close the clamp, click continue. Uh, load the fine point blade. So the fine point blade is what has already come installed with this machine, but it will always remind you if for some reason you have the rotary blade installed and you need to change it out. Um, it's very simple. So let's pretend this was not in here. What you do is you find your blade um, this large part at the top of the housing is the sort of stop. It tells you how far in to insert your blade. So put it in so that the housing is all the way at the back here. And then you close this clamp. And this one is a little bit harder to close because you want to make sure that blade doesn't go anywhere. Um, but once it's closed, again, you'll see the blade can move up and down so that it can be down for cutting and then lift and move to a different part of the mat and cut. So you've got your pen and accessory clamp A and your blade and accessory clamp B. Close the clamp, click continue. Place the white cardstock on the mat, align it at the top center, slide the mat underneath the guides, press the load and unload button. So here we go. We are using this light grip mat. So you peel off this protective layer and underneath it's uh, sticky, right? 
And then we are going to open up our materials for first project, which came with the Cricut. Um, so let's take a look here. We have a little blue square of um, cardstock. We have some cute little fabric. I'm going to set those aside for now. And then we have this white piece of cardstock, and this is what they're talking about. So they say, take this and load it at the top left of your mat. Line it up. Um, you do not need to press down very hard, just sort of lightly so that it is stuck on there. And then place it under these guides right here, these little white plastic tabs and bump it into these rollers and then see how this is flashing. Press that, it pulls it in. Good to go. So now you see it's changed. It says the speed is automatically set because your Cricut Maker is a very smart machine. So all you have to do is press go and watch it cut. Um, you can see here that there's a little uh, progress circle telling you how far it is. And this is the drawing part. So you can see that it's actually not cutting anything with clamp B right now. What's happening is clamp A is moving up and down and all of these pieces um, of the front of the card are getting drawn on by the pen. Um, and then once it gets to 100% here with the drawing, it will then begin the cut and you don't need to change out the mat or do anything. Um, this detecting tool thing, it makes sure that you have the right tool in place because you don't want to be cutting um, you know, skinny paper with your rotary blade or your knife tool. So it just makes sure you've got the right knife in there. So we'll just give that another minute and let it cut. It'll tell us when it's done. Okay, so now we press this unload button to unload the mat and it comes on out. We're gonna set that aside for just a sec. Now it reminds you to remove this pen because um, you can't close this machine up until you've taken the pen out. Plus you can't put the cap on it while it's in here. So it's really just better not to leave anything um, in this accessory clamp A. And it's got a little tip here about um, removing the cardstock. So if you start to just pull it up like this, do you see how the paper itself is curling, that's not great. What you wanna do, um, I'm gonna close this to give us a little more room here. What you actually want to do is put the mat upside down, bend the mat, and leave the paper flat on your table. Um, and if you do it that way, the mat can survive a little bending. It's flexible and your paper stays nice and flat. Um, so sometimes the little pieces will come out on your mat. That's fine. You can scrape them off later. Um, and here, this is the outer border. Here is your cutout card. Um, so we're going to leave this here. There's still another step to do. 
After we've unloaded the pen and the mat and we've taken the cardstock off the mat, we click continue. Now we're going to assemble the project and it gives you instructions. So we take this card, we fold it in half. Very carefully. Okay, and then it says insert the liner into the corner slots. So that's this little blue piece right here. We're gonna take it like that. It's gonna come up like that down into these corners at the bottom. One, two. And there you go. Super cute card, really easy. I mean, except for the fact that I was going slowly so that I could show you guys as I did it, this card would have taken me five minutes start to finish. Um, so super, super easy. So we click continue. And then this second half of this project is adding the embellishments. So um, if you wanted to leave uh, the card as is, you could be done. But this is going to show you how to um, put this little fabric piece on top here and it's gonna uh, show you how to use fabric mat and change the blade. So here we go. Um, we're gonna walk through it. Let's start a new project. Click on the new project button. So this is your canvas. Um, there's, this is where you build all of the uh, things that you wanna cut with your machine, pretty simple. Um, there's tons of different options. That's for another video. For now, we're just going to go through this. So we're going to add an image by clicking on images. And this brings up the image library. Um, to find what we're looking for, we're going to type kite and then press enter or click the little magnifying glass. And this is the kite that we are talking about. Uh, this little A up here, did you see it? This little A is your Cricut Access. So during your 14 day free trial, or if you subscribe, all of these images with the little A are for free, which is pretty cool. Um, click insert images to add it. It's already the size um, that it needs to be for this project. And the color doesn't matter because we are cutting it out of something we are not printing like a regular printer so here we go we just click this big green make it button to make it it does the same thing sorts into mats you only have one mat so we're good to go press continue it finds your Cricut you're going to tell it the material so this time it's cotton fabric uh, remember that's what that little polka dotted um, fabric is. And now it's going to tell you, uh, okay, you need to load a different blade because you do not want to cut fabric with your um, fine point blades. So here we go. We're going to open this guy. Oh, <laughs> this gets locked. Here's the trick. If you ever close this without closing this, you have to do that in order to open it back up just if it ever happens to you so here we go onwards open clamp b oh my goodness okay and pull this blade out and we're going to set it over here for safekeeping in our little storage drawer and then this is the rotary blade that came with it. So it says in, uh, insert rotary blade ensuring the gears fit together. So that's just a really simple way of saying, see how there's plastic covering this part. This part has to go towards the back because the gears back here 
are what needs to connect. So if you put it in this way, the plastic's going to run into it and it won't work. So put it in here. And again, make sure it's set all the way down on this sort of flat surface here. And then we close the clamp. Close up the clamp and it's good to go. Click continue to go to the next step. Place the fabric on the mat, printed side down, aligning with the top left corner of the grid. So now we are gonna use the fabric mat that came with. Um, this one is the light grip mat. It's for paper, the fabric mat is what you should use for fabric and it is pink that's how you know um also you know it says uh here we go fabric grip right up at the top so you know which one it is so um the cricut cuts things from the top down so you need to make sure to mirror all of your material if it has a right side up or down um, that's why it says place the fabric on the mat printed side down. So we're going to line it up here. And then again, you don't have to push very hard, but just run over all the corners and the middle to make sure it's tacked down everywhere. Slide your mat underneath these two little plastic guides. Push it firmly up against these black rollers and press your load button. There it goes. Okay, and then it can detect that your tools and your mat are loaded and it detects that you've got the right rotary blade right on there. It automatically set the speed for the material. So all you have to do is press go. It takes a sec to detect the tool. That's what it's doing all the way over on that side. Make sure you've got the right blade in and it knows um, exactly where it's positioned so that when it's cutting, it cuts nice clear corners, doesn't make any mistakes. Okay, so it's done. We're gonna press the unload button. Um, for fabric, you can just peel the fabric off the mat because you don't need to worry as much about whether the fabric curls. So there you go, look at that. Look at that cut. That's such a clean line. There's no way you could get this with the Cricut Explore. This rotary blade, if you like to cut fabric with your Cricut, this rotary blade is so worth it. Okay, so you've got this guy off. We're gonna set the mat aside. Press continue. Whoops. Hey, come back. See what it says to do next. Assemble the project. Adhere the kite to the card. Way to go. So here's the card. Here's the kite. Okay, had to run and grab a glue stick. So a uh, little bit of glue. Again, I'm going to move this thing out of the way so we can see what's going on here. A little bit of glue on the back of your kite. Make sure you get all four corners and in the middle. And then stick it on top, press down. And you're good to go. Look at that. So now you have a cute little card, little fabric guy. And again, if I <laughs> had had my glue stick and if I were just going through this at regular speed, this whole thing would have taken like 10 minutes start to finish. It's a cute card. It's so quick and easy to do. Your Cricut just walks you through everything that you need. So the last thing we're going to do here, when it's done cutting, um, you just click the big green finish button and you're good to go. 
um, and the screen is telling you your adventure starts now. Get going. So um, design.cricket.com is how you get to Cricket Design Space. And uh, you can make your own projects. You can find a bunch of do it. Uh, pre-made they call them make it now projects uh, you can find anything you want but that is how you go from unboxing your Cricut to getting it set up to doing your very first project so if you have a brand new Cricut maker and you don't know where to start with it maybe it's still in the box maybe you're a little intimidated don't worry, it's really easy. Everything I just showed you is everything you need to do to pull it out of the box, get it set up, hooked up to your computer, and to go all the way through making your first cute little project. So that's it. For more awesome Cricut tutorials, project ideas, uh, how-tos, Check out practicallyfunctional.com. There's a ton of stuff there. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.